Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some limited edition, this is Halo Top ice cream. This is Vanilla Chocolate Twist. And I have the Ben and Jerry's everything but the. But the. That's the word, dot, dot, dot. That's the name, <laughs> that's it, that's, that's the it. whole name. Um, it has a, a plastic seal around the top and then Halo Top has a seal underneath. The Ben and Jerry's was $4.79 at Meyer. The Halo Top was $4.98 at Walmart. So very close in price. Halo Top is a full pint and so is Ben and Jerry's, full pint. So uh, the Halo Top limited edition vanilla chocolate twist. Limited edition light ice cream. This is 290 calories for the entire pint. Uh, yeah, the entire thing is 290 calories. Halotop.com. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't already make a chocolate and vanilla twist. And why is it limited edition? Why wouldn't it be out all the time? What does it say at the top? You had me at what? Oh, you had me at Halo. Halo, Halo yeah. Um, this, um, I really looked around the top to make sure that it didn't say keto because they have their keto version and I wanted to make sure I wasn't buying keto. Um, so, because I, I don't care for those. But uh, this is, is soft from the get-go. So like this minute I took it out of the freezer, it was like you could squeeze this. Um, so just know that these are different. If you've had Halo Top in the past. Yeah, where you had to let it set for 20 minutes where you could even is, chisel away at yeah, it. Yeah, you had to chip away at it. That's not Halo Top now. You used to like it to do that. I did because it took me longer to eat it. Um, but I do like that it's soft too. Mm -hmm. It must have had a different ingredient too. Mm -hmm. How many calories was this? 290 the for thing. the entire look. thing. The vanilla is, it's not, um, even though it's soft ice cream, it's, it's not necessarily a, uh, what I would consider rich and no. creamy. No, it's okay. I mean, it's nothing bad. There's nothing wrong with that. I could eat the whole thing. The chocolate is uh, very dark. Kind of I basic think. chocolate. I'm eating it by itself. I'm eating vanilla yeah, by itself. Yeah, I did too. Chocolate by um, you know what that reminds me of, though. You know the little, um, the little cups, the little they used to be plastic cups of vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get the strawberry swirl and the fudge swirl. Mm -hmm. um, that's what that reminds me of. The vanilla and the chocolate individual cups. Mm -hmm. Used to be you get the little wooden spoon you eat it with. Right. That's what that reminds me of flavor wise. I like them mixed because yeah, it tastes better mixed. It tastes much better mixed because. The uh, the vanilla is much much sweeter than the mm -hmm. chocolate, so you get that bitter chocolate. Yeah, it's and, a good balance. And then yeah, it mixes together really really well. Uh, when I uh, buy Halo Top ice cream, um, I usually am not choosing chocolate or vanilla. I'm usually usually going for one of their other flavors, like birthday cake or something like that. You know, I want a different flavor, but. If you mix them together, I really do like this. Mm -hmm. well, chocolate by itself has almost a malty kind of flavor. Uh huh. It, it's a darker, definitely a darker chocolate. It's kind of like a Wendy's uh, Frosty a little bit. Not quite as sweet and good, but it is like that. The, yeah, this is more bitter than that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not one like, like I just, I wouldn't want a whole pint of the chocolate because oh, no. it is bitter. No, I wouldn't either. But I really do like it mixed mm -hmm. like this. Yep. Like I said, I would eat that whole thing. The vanilla is not. Nice. Especially for that low calorie, I would definitely eat that whole thing. So this is called Everything But The. And I think this has probably been out for a long time. And I thought it used to be called Everything But The Kitchen Sink. Is what I, Everything But The Kitchen Sink. They might have had another one, Everything could But The Kitchen Sink. They might have. have. I can remember, it seemed like I remember the words Kitchen Sink being on there. Right. But, but maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But then my friend Hope, she lives in Maryland, and she went to the store in Maryland, and she said, I can't find this on your playlist. She said, I've looked on your channel. I don't see it. And I thought, I know, I, I, I remember having it like many, many, many years ago. Like 20 years ago. And uh, I said, does it say new or limited? I'm thinking, hey, did it go away and come back? But no, we found it at my. I don't remember them having that all the time. But then again, I don't look at every flavor of Ben & Jerry's though. Right, so, so I'm glad that Hope found one that she called our attention to it, uh, that we need to try this. Uh, having, if I had it, it's been, it must have been at least 15 years ago. Um, this is a collision of chocolate and vanilla ice creams mixed with peanut butter cups, 
fudge covered toffee pieces, white chocolatey chunks, and fudge covered almonds. It sounds terrific, um, and it should. It's 420 calories for a two thirds cup, or 1,000. 250 calories for the entire prime and there's a big difference holding this heavy versus holding yeah. that it's light very very heavy you know you're buying it for two different reasons trust me um so i'm not expecting the halo top when i try it to be like no. ben and jerry's well the mix-ins and all that stuff yeah and this was hard as a brick when i took it out of the freezer so um Definitely had to leave this out. Uh, there wasn't anything to see with the halo top, but that's what this looks like. No, the halo top, yeah, it was just the white and brown. Well, there's a hunk of something in here. Mm -hmm. Mine's like a peanut butter cup. It's big. Mmm. Wow. That's the toffee. Mm hmm Well, I swear there's like a whole cup in here. Oh. Uh, my, I had a huge... Um, there might be a toffee piece. No, I think that's a peanut butter. What? I've got a huge uh, hard piece of chocolate right now. Half a peanut butter. Ooh, wow. Okay, this whole thing... Whatever this is, is like a hard piece of chocolate. Mm -hmm. What is that? I got that? one of those too. Yeah, what is that? Like, mmm. Toffee. Mm-hmm. You know, I like this, but I don't like it as much as I thought I would. There's something bitter in there. I think it's the toffee. I really, really do. Now, I haven't gotten any peanut butter yet. Mm. I like that huge peanut butter cup in there. Um, I don't think it's the topic. I think it's the chocolate. Because if you look at some of these chocolate pieces, they're very dark. You see how dark they oh, are? Oh, I didn't get that. So dig in there. Do whatever I got it right here. Um, it's okay for me. There's other Ben & Jerry's I'd rather have. Mm -hmm. um, this one... I, I don't gravitate towards chocolate ice cream. I'm just telling you that right now. Right. And, and this see, comes across as very chocolatey. I like that piece of chocolate. That dark piece. I don't know. There's something in there that's kind of bitter to me. I don't know. Mmm. I mean, I can eat it. I love the texture. I can eat it, but it wouldn't be one I would go buy. Mmm. Those, I got that. Those are the cho the fudge covered almonds. That's what those are. You think it's kind of And bitter? they are, yes. They're a little bit bitter. But I really like them personally. Well, even I, the peanut butter cup to me came across as a little bitter. I thought you might think that the toffee was kind of uh, mm -hmm. because no. it's uh, it's kind of it's cooked. It tastes like a cooked caramel, like a burnt sugar. Yeah, um, I'm impressed with the amount of toffee that was in there. Um, I never did get a peanut butter cup. Mm -hmm. Never did get one. Well, I got a half of one. But I can <laughs> assume that it was it was really it was okay. really good. Yeah, it was dark too. Toffee again. Mm -hmm. Gotta dig right in there. I got toffee. all toffee, but I really do like it. I can't say that it's my favorite Ben and Jerry's mm -hmm. because there is so much going on in there that it's kind of hard to focus on one thing. I would never turn it down. But I, I would eat it, but I still think there's. It's, it's, I wouldn't choose it. No, there's enough dark chocolate in there for me to not enjoy it as much. I would mm -hmm. rather I would eat this halo top over that. Oh, no, I wouldn't go that no, far. I, I will. I would for practical reasons. Calorie -wise. Calories. But me, I would literally, I like the flavor of that better than that. I don't. As far as flavor goes, if I don't care about calories, I'm going to always choose Ben and Jerry's. Uh, even though I think Halo Top, for what it is, for the calories, you can't beat it. You really can't. Just pick a flavor. They have so many to choose from. Mm -hmm. The bad thing about us in our area is they get the same flavors of Halo Top, and we never get to try any of the new ones. So they've come out with new flavors. Will we ever get them? Probably not. And that's at all the stores. That's not just at Kroger or Walmart. I mean, that's you just don't see them, which... Uh, is the only bad thing. I would love to try the new new flavors. Um, 
but uh, just pick one that, that you think you'll like and try it because they're really good. And now, you make sure though that you don't get the keto. So a lot of the keto, the keto ones um, have this same gold ring around the top, but, but they, they say, say, yes, they say keto. I'm not recommending any of the keto ones, but if you just go for the low calorie ones, they're usually separated on the shelf. They're really, really good. Um, but now this Ben and Jerry's, I like it, but I don't like it enough to like get it again. Nope. So, uh, and what is Ashley's favorite? Half and a half. Half baked. Half baked. Yeah. Half baked. So that's uh, that's our daughter's favorite. Anytime she gets Ben and Jerry's, she wants to get the half baked. I would say one of my very favorite because people ask is the cotton candy. I love their it's cotton good. candy. It was really good. And do you have one that stands that, out to you? Yeah, not that I can think of right off the top of my head. I'd, right. I'd have to look at a list of them and see. Right, yeah. Well, people are always asking. That's I why. like the cherry Garcia, but they don't have enough cherries in it for me. Right. Because it's just vanilla ice cream with cherry. If uh -huh. it had been a cherry flavored ice cream with cherry, I'd probably pick it. But right. it's not. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've had either one of these, you can let us know your thoughts. And thanks for watching.